All right, boys, thank you all for coming here. Uh, it's like 1 p.m. Why did you have to get us here so early in the morning? Yeah, Trump, what is this all about? I had to wake up my wife to drop me here. I'm glad you asked, Obama. Because of Joe, the banks have been printing billions of dollars in the past few months, and it's ruining the value of all my assets. As a fellow American, I just can't have that slide. All right, so will we be protesting then? Protesting? Oh, no. Too much money has already entered the economy. We will have to take it away from them. Take it away. I'm pretty sure that's called robbery, you imbecile. Joe, can't you just pass a new law about this? I tried, but they took away my ice cream privilege for a week. And without ice cream, I can't fit in with the other kids on the playground. They all call me a brokey and other mean words. Well, we need to do something. Look at this poor woman here, for example. You can tell that the inflation affected her mentally. I might as well just put her out of her pain. Damn, Trump, I will be keeping my mouth shut from now on. That uppercut was clean. Yeah, he has experience beating woman. Why do you think he got divorced two times? Joe, my eight-year-old son could whoop your ass in a blink. Follow Obama's example and only talk when I tell you to. Is that some kind of slave kink? Your weird Trump first beating up innocent woman, now this. Come on, bro. Oh, boys, one more thing I forgot to add. The bank we will be robbing is a national one. And before you say anything, Obama, just know that they deserve this. Do you know how many taxes I had to pay last year? $30,000? That's almost as expensive as the dinner I had last night. The banks can't keep getting away with this. $30,000? You make this in an hour just by existing, and it's not like we are wasting that money anyways. We have been paying off student loan debt lately. Paying off student loan debt? That's the stupidest thing I heard in a long while. Do you think you're Mr. Beast or something? You can't go around handing out money. Also, Joe, using the term us when referring to the government is kind of a stretch. You are not even allowed in the Oval Office without somebody holding your hand while you're in there. Actually, Trump, I will have you know that I got invited in the Oval Office just yesterday. My son does coke with everybody in the White House, so I basically became the coolest guy in there. I would not let my kids get in the proximity of any of you two. They would be better off living the rest of their childhoods in an orphanage than anywhere near Joe. And just putting them in the back seat while Trump drives is also bound to go wrong. My God, Obama, can you please stop complaining? I'm not surprised your wife had to become the man of the house. She has to be a gold digger as well. No other reason for her to marry such a bitch like yourself. No way the orange man is following basic traffic laws. Of course I'm not. I was just admiring the beautiful architecture of this capitalist city. I don't know, Trump. I think that what matters more is the education of our people, as well as their morals and values, not big shiny skyscrapers nor wealth and weapons. Can we please drop this loser off at the church while we rob the bank? I wish I could, but we will need him. Robbing a bank in three is already hard enough, but don't worry. We will get the majority of the split. Trump, did you just park the car in front of the bank? How idiotic are you? Do you really think nobody will notice the presidential vehicle? A regular Honda with no license plate is what the police will be looking for, not for the car of the president's. Plus, this bad boy is bulletproof. Hold up, bro. There are some stairs here, and I almost fell. All right, boys. Look as calm and collected as you can. Then slowly pull out 39 millimeter weapons from up your ass without nobody noticing. Trump, did you really just bring a 9 milli weapon to a bank heist? Come on, man, what if the police shows up? It's enough, I am the brain of the operation. Now get ready. Take this one out first. Obama should handle the shooting. He got used to killing innocent people. Obama doesn't have 3K hours in modern warfare, too. The bald white guy alerted the police. We need to punish him for having no hair. Don't kill him yet, Trump. We need to get inside there. Any plan for that, genius? Well, yes, actually, I have a family friend who used to rob banks in L.A. back in the 60s. He gave me a few toys and prepared me for this. Is that thermite? That thing can melt through a tank given enough time. Of course you would know that, nerd. Boom, we're in, just like that. Now it's time to take my revenge on every worker in here for delaying my appointment on Tuesday. On don't I don't know what to say, Trump. These are not bad people. They're just working here to support their families. Okay, Obama, go give that corpse a hug. We will be inside the safe, securing that bread. Also, while you're at it, keep an eye out for police. Enough talking. Let's get it done, Joe. A little bit more of the tank melting powder and we will be inside. Man, I bet that one sniff of that would give my son the zoomies for weeks. Actually, that would melt through his intestines, so I don't... Oh, my God, Trump, please get this nerd to shut up. Let me focus. I have to open the entrance to the safe. Time to go watch dogs mode. I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. What are you talking about? This shit right here is easier than Flappy Bird. Why do you have to do the fun part, like killing people and playing Connect Four while we just watch? 
Well, Obama wouldn't. And you are the reason why we are here in the first place. How come you dragged us all in here because you had to pay 5% of what you should pay in the first place? I have no clue how rich weirdos like yourself always manage to get away with this kind of stuff. Twitter will hear about this, Trump. You're getting exposed. I don't care. Fox News put me through hell already. There's nothing lonely cucks like yourself can do to harm me, Obama. Plus, I got unbanned from Twitter last month because Elon Musk is just a bro like that. My God, we opened like four doors. What is the security in this prison? Don't worry, Joe. We are here. I will start filling my bags while you two watch my back. It's time to take what's ours, my American brothers. I am the best at securing cheese. Nobody stacks as much bread as me. Hey, Trump, that's a little bit over 30K. What are you doing? Shush, Joe. He is helping Americans out by doing this. Let him take as much as he can. This will certainly fix the homelessness problems in every state. God bless America. Yo, Obama, I think he brainwashed you. I have a feeling that this money is going into his bank account. I don't quite see how that helps out anybody except him and his money-hungry wife. You better keep my wife's name out of your mouth, you old frick. And don't forget, I'm the best thing that happened to America in the past 20 years. I'm basically allowed to do this. No, Obama is your obedient dog who won't stand up for himself or his loved ones. I'm tired of this. I won the elections. People love and respect me more. How about this? I will buy you a $15 ice cream when we get out. Deal, do I get to choose the flavor if you steal three million or more? Sure thing, buddy. Thanks, Trump. I love you. We should do this more often. Can we not bring Obama next time? He's killing my vibe. You two are cold-blooded criminals. I will make sure to snitch on you at the next chance I get. But don't worry. I will make sure to send you both liquid soap while you're in there. Don't want to drop the soap while in the showers with my cousin Jamal. What the hell, man? You have one twisted bloodline. First you being a cuck and now your cousin is a weirdo as well. Well, shit, boys, this is what happens if we don't cooperate while robbing a bank. Joe, get to shooting or you ain't getting no ice cream. So that's how it is. Watch this. I will hold the other side of the door. God damn it, Obama. I almost put a bullet through your head, you idiot. This isn't Valorant. Keep on walking in front of me like that while I'm shooting and you will meet God. I would rather get eaten alive by a swarm of rats than have you kill me, Trump. And after this, I will be going to hell anyways. My God. I just ate a shotgun shot to the face from one foot away. Good thing I have the blood of Abraham Lincoln coursing through my veins. Don't worry, Trump. It's not like you can get more deformed than that. Let's hope that that shot didn't push your hairline further back. I would go to Turkey to get a hair transplant, but there are only three other people in the world with beautiful blonde hair matching mine. All right, you didn't have to make that sound so fruity. Bro, my cat has hair matching yours after three hours in the rain. Yay and Melania looks like your wife after getting beat up in a ring by George Foreman for five rounds. By the way, thank God these suits are bulletproof. Time to get out of here before reinforcement arrives. Good thing we are now in the car. Not only is it bulletproof, but also weaponized. This is why I loved this baby so much back when I was president. Thank you, Trump, for being a meat shield back there. There really ain't nothing getting through your 200 pounds of fat. Now, boys, we need to make a run for it. Strap your seatbelts. It's not so easy to get away from the police in this country. How about getting away from the IRS? You should know plenty about that. I know there's a microphone under the driver's seat, Joe. You ain't fooling nobody. I never committed any crime and would do anything for this country. No clue why the police is chasing us. We were just buying ice cream. They must have gotten the wrong guy. There's a microphone in this car? God damn it, Michelle was right. It truly was a bad idea. Damn, now I know why they let you in office for so long. Well, Trump, I have to say that your maniac driving is finally coming in handy for once. I didn't believe that there would be a day when I would appreciate anything about you. Well, Joe, I actually took a lot of classes in order to develop in this side of things. Driving like this is actually harder than you expect. I don't think a wrinkled old guy like yourself could do it, but thanks nevertheless. Go to hell. This is why people hate you. How come that now you are not driving fast enough? This car can go with over 90 miles an hour. No way Joe supplied the police department with anything more than a can of metal on wheels. It's not so easy, okay? You never even drove this car. You just got to bang your wife in here once every three months. Uh, uh, didn't know Biden could hit such high notes. He seems more than dead whenever he goes on TV. I don't want to make you boys panic, but there is a helicopter on our trails. It will not be so easy to lose it. But don't worry, if I build a 500 miles long wall, then I can get away from a couple of police officers. Ah, damn, bro, this ain't a stunt contest. Watch where you're driving. 
I think that police driver confiscated and tried some of my son's white powder. Trump, when you say that the car is bulletproof, how bulletproof are we talking? Well, since my skull is intact, except that one thing that happened to me when I was a newborn, I'm guessing it's bulletproof enough. Trump, we can't stay in the open for too long. The car will slowly break down. You think I don't know this? I'm trying my best to get away, but I can't find a good spot to lose them. How come we have no escape route? If it was me setting this up, I would have dug a tunnel to get in and out. My God, you should marry Melania. Only she complains as much as you do. Too bad you are not lucky enough for her. To be honest, I would hit if she was like 40 years younger. What do you mean by that? You know she's 53, right? Are you calling her old looking? Uh, yeah, that's what I meant for sure. I thought she was like 60 at least. Yes. Be careful ahead. I said be careful, Hamilton. Holy cow, you dodged those cars in four dimensions. Good job, pal. Thanks, Joe. Guys, I think that we should stop considering every woman in simple object. They are so much more than a way for rich people to show their status. God put them on this earth for more than washing dishes and taking care of our children. We should establish love as pure as the one between Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. A love that can make you push your limits and boundaries. What the? That shit was so cringe and boring that it put me to sleep for 20 seconds with the most adrenaline in my body. Are we sure that this is the same guy that was calling me fruity a few minutes ago? Come on, guys, I was just sharing my feelings with you two. Yeah, to be honest, Trump, I don't think I even want to live after hearing this. Can you just drop us in a river or off a cliff or something? Okay, guess I will be a closed book from now on. I feel you, Joe. I'm heading to the closest river. I'm willing to end it all. Good thing he's in the back seat. At least he won't die close to me. I don't want him to haunt me in the afterlife or something. Plus, I don't think we can get away from the police anyways. It was nice meeting you, Joe. I'm sorry that my greed took us so far. Please forgive me. Trump, let us all say a prayer before meeting our creator. All right, Barack, but let's make it quick. I don't want the police to arrest me. It would bring shame upon my family and bloodline. All right, then. The police will surely catch up soon. Let's get on land and have a moment of peace. Sure, but where is Joe? Most likely he's drowning as we speak. It might be better for him to end things this way. We can say a prayer in his name. Barack, I am sorry for being so mean to you back there. I'm sorry for what I did at the bank. I hope both you and Jesus can forgive me. What the hell? I don't hear the sirens anymore. Trump, I think we lost them. Nobody would expect us to jump in a river. This is a miracle. Well, Barack, would you look at that? Your fruitiness combined with my suicidal intents and help from a divine power saved the life of all three of us. All three of us? What are you talking about? I don't see Joe anywhere. I think he might still be in the car on the bottom of the lake. God damn it, that idiot. Come on, let's go have a look. Hopefully he remembers how to swim from back in the 70s. I might know where the car fell. Good luck diving. God damn it, where is it? Wait, I see it. I need to get to it. Come on, Joe, there might still be an air pocket in there. Hold tight. Well, no way I'm getting inside this car. The doors on this bad boy won't move at all, I bet. Okay, one door is open, but there is nobody inside. I need to go up for some air. Bad news, Obama. I think we might have lost the old man. I couldn't find a thing in there. Wait, what is that thing swimming towards us? Could it be? God damn it, Joe, you scared us. I'm sorry, boys. After getting out of the car, I got lost. You guys know I was a national swimming champion back when I was 12, right? Uh, yes, Joe, we had full faith that you would make it. It's not like we were going to leave without you or something. Now I have to buy a new presidential car. One of those is $2 million. Anyways, Joe, let's go get you ice cream.